Hi, this is Dave Taylor, and on this video, what I want to do is I want to build my own blog in under 15 minutes. Now, that sounds like a pretty tall order, but Matthew Loomis over at Build Your Own Blog has promised me it's doable, and in fact, he's offered to help me out with the first couple of steps, which is really nice. Now, I gotta be honest with you, I'm a little skeptical about this. 15 minutes, that's awfully fast. But I figured, you know what, I'll videotape, we'll do the whole thing, we'll see what happens. Worst case, then I can say to them, ah, it took me 16 minutes. But I kinda have a sneaky feeling that we'll actually get it done faster than that. Anyway, let me go and get Matthew on the call. So I'm gonna get him on Skype, and then we'll get started and see if we really can build a brand new blog from scratch in under 15 minutes. <laughs> Hey Matthew, how's it going? Hey Dave, going good. How are you? I'm doing okay and I'm ready to get started with my blog. So if I can, I was hoping you could walk me through maybe just the first step or two. So how do I start? Well, the first thing you want to do is type in our domain into your browser, buildyourownblog.net. Okay, and, got okay. that. And here's what I'm looking at. Okay, great. So now you want to find the setup guide, which is over in the right sidebar. And of course, you want to start with step one. Okay, so it looks like step one involves me picking a domain. I actually already know what domain I want to use. So can I just go straight to step two at this point? Yeah, absolutely. If you have a name picked out, you can go right to step two. All right, well, let me do that. And seriously, <laughs> I don't need to have you online the whole time. So let me let you go and I'll pick you up at the other end of this experience. Okay. Sounds good. Let me know how it goes. All right. I'll see you in less than 15 minutes, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh. It should be that way. All right. Great. See you then. Okay. Well, time to get started. Since I've already picked a domain name, I just need to go directly to the picking a host. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Green Geeks as it shows. And then the next step is to click Get Started Now. Now I need to register my domain name. I have one picked out, the Blog Setup Challenge. So let's go ahead and do that. The Blog oops, Setup Challenge.com. We'll check availability. Let's see. Um, looks like we're good to go. And it is available. And it'll be live in just a few minutes. So now, I'm going to go ahead and enter all my information, and you don't need to see this, so we'll just jump ahead, but it elapsed time about 30 seconds. Green Geeks gives you some account plan choices. It looks like the three-year plan is the best deal, so that's what I'm going to get. You can see right here they have a 30-day money-back guarantee, too, so that'll give me plenty of time to check this out and see how I like it. Next, I need to put in my payment information. My order is complete. Now I need to wait for Green Geeks to contact me and verify my order, or it's possible that they just emailed me and I can verify it that way. I've jumped over to my inbox and found an email with the subject line, Green Geeks Account Manager Login Details. This is where my login password is found, and the link also takes me straight to the next step. Notice, by the way, that this is a temporary password, so don't get excited that you can log into my account. All right, so I'm going to sign in now to the Green Geeks account manager. I put in my email address they have on my account, along with the password sent in the email. Cool, there we go. Now, the setup guide says I should click the blue button on the bottom the one that corresponds to the domain name I want to set up with WordPress. I only have one domain I just bought, right here. So I click this button. And there you can see there's a list of apps that are app installers, and one of which is for WordPress. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that. Okay, so now I'm in Softaculous. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here, but all I'm supposed to do is focus on the big blue button that says install. So you know what? I'm going to click on that. Install. No need to change anything here. Simply scroll down and click the install button again. It's at the bottom this time. Now WordPress should download in a matter of seconds. There we go. That's it. Software was installed. Fantastic. That sure didn't take long. In fact, 
I'm ready to roll. Now, I want to go check out my new blog. I need to get inside of it to get up and running. And right here is a link that takes me to the sign-in page. If you get an error like this, it's because your domain name hasn't been propagated out to the overall internet. So have patience, count up to 100, go get a cup of tea or something, and come back in a minute or two. And when you click reload, you should be good to go. So this is what the login page looks like. And you can also get to your login page by typing in your new domain name and appending slash WP dash admin. That's quicker than having to go back to your Green Geeks dashboard in the future or go ahead and just bookmark this admin page. To get in the first time, it says I can use the default username and password. And then once inside, I can and definitely will change the username and password to whatever I want it to be. For now, I'm going to type in admin and the password is P-A-S-S. -S. Then I'll click login. Now that I'm inside my dashboard, as the first step, I'm going to go ahead and change my username and password. So this is what Matt recommends. Over to the left sidebar, go to users and then choose your profile. So here's the left sidebar, users, your profile. And there's a bunch of other stuff I can do, but let's go ahead and just make this change. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and put in my name. And I'm going to have a nickname of, well, we'll just be Dave. And I'll show it publicly as my full name. And it's a good idea to change your email. And I would concur with that. We can leave it as this, though, for now. But what we want to do is... We need to generate a new password. And I'm gonna go ahead and generate a password. And here you can see, this is a bit of a crazy mess. Uh, what you really wanna do right now is you wanna write it down. Now you can type in your own password if you want, but these passwords that it generates are really, really secure because as you can see, ain't no one gonna be guessing this one. So I'm gonna write this down. Make sure you clicked on update profile at the bottom. You see it here and everything looks good. We're going to leave all the defaults. So that's pretty straightforward considering I've now have a functional website ready to use. This only took me, I don't know, maybe five minutes. And that's because I had to wait for the domain name to propagate so that it would work. So far, basically I'm good to go. So now when I'm ready to post, all I do is posts, add new, and here I am, ready to write my first blog post. Elapsed time, five minutes, totally amazing. Now, let's give Matthew a call and give him an update. Hey Matthew, I did it. I've got my blog all set up and ready to roll. Hey, that's awesome, Dave. How did it go? Um, surprisingly straightforward and definitely less than 15 minutes. Really glad we didn't place some sort of massive wager because that would have been really awkward at this point. <laughs> oh, I should have bet you. I sh we should have done that. Oh, well. Oh, well. So so now I guess my, my next first step is writing my first blog post. Now, I've been blogging for a super long time. I know how to do that. That doesn't bother me at all. But for a lot of people, that's a pretty daunting, pretty challenging step. So do you have any best practices or recommendations or hints on how people can get started with actually writing blog posts? Yeah, actually, I cover that in step five there in the setup guide. If you want to just go to step five, I've got uh, 20 different tutorials, video tutorials that show you how to do all kinds of things, such as um, post your first blog post. All right on. So again, tell me exactly where I can find those videos. Uh, those videos are in step five of the setup guide. Okay, cool. Well, this was a good experiment. It definitely took less than 15 minutes to go from having the idea and the enthusiasm to being poised and ready to write that first blog post. So you're absolutely right. Under 15 minutes to go from nothing to a fully functional blog on the internet, and I am ready to make my mark. Your experiment worked, and thank you very much for all your help. Awesome, Dave. I'm glad you found this helpful, and good luck with your blog. All right, thanks. I'll catch up with you later. Wow, I'm a believer. Under 15 minutes, build your own blog. And I just sat here at my kitchen table and built it from scratch. Now the real work. I need to get blogging. So, hope this was helpful. And check it out for yourself. Buildyourownblog.net.
This is Dave Taylor, and I'll see you in my next video too.